Now for some harder fraction addition and subtraction. The same method is going to work, even though there's now three fractions instead of two. I need to have each of these fractions with the same denominator. What's the lowest common denominator? What's the smallest number that 4, 3 and 2 will all divide into? Well, let's try 4. Does 4 work? Notice it's the same technique. Start with the bigger number. 3 doesn't go into 4, even though 2 does. So 4 is no good. Let's try 8. Next multiple of the biggest number. Does 8 work? 3 doesn't go into 8, even though 2 does. Okay, next multiple. 12. Does 3 go into 12? Yes, it does, 4 times. Does 2 go into 12? Yes, it does, 6 times. So let's use 12. Okay, what did I need a 4 to get 12? I multiplied by 3. So at the top, I'm going to have 1 times 3. What did I need a 3 to get 12? I multiplied by 4. So at the top, I'm going to have 1 times 4. And what did I need a 2 to get 12? I multiplied by 6. So at the top, I'm going to have 1 times 6. Well, that's quite straightforward. 3 over 12 plus 4 over 12 plus 6 over 12. Well, now I've got 3 that all have the same denominator. So my answer is going to be 12, and it's going to be 3 plus 4 plus 6. Well, that's going to be 13. That's improper, but that's fine. You can leave it like that. Or if you prefer, you can try, you can have 1 and 1 twelfth. Both answers are the same. Personally, I prefer improper. Okay, another example. 2 fifths plus a half minus 3 tenths. Let's have a look. I need one number on the bottom that all of them will divide into. Well, start with the biggest number you see. Does 10 work? 5 goes into 10 and 2 goes into 10. So 10 itself is going to work. So let's write them all as tenths. This one already was. 2 fifths, 5 times 2 is 10, so at the top I'm going to have 2 times 2. 2 times 5 is 10, so at the top I'm going to have 1 times 5. Simplify. 4 tenths, 5 tenths, and 3 tenths. Well, now they've all got the same denominator. Let's just work it out. 4 plus 5 is 9. Take away 3 is 6. I'm done. Oh, no I'm not. 6 and 10 have a common factor. 2. Well, divide this by 2 and divide that by 2. Now I really am done. 